Alrighty, they should be deploying now. Yep, they're getting it started. And I am going to actually have Twitch chat turned on for the first time ever. Let's see. Uh. Looks like Malekith Cabal. Let's go. Wait. Oh, this is going to be annoying. Oh, not so annoying at all. Turn on streamer view. Is it Malekith Cabal? It is Malekith Cabal. No, Malekith Hellfire Club. I like that even more. Very sick. So, Lizard, Malekith, Black Cat, Toad, Emma. Uh, it is, he's going to be able to charge around one because the portal's right in front of him, so he can trigger Hellfire immediately. Uh, versus Thanos Cabal with Loki. This is exactly what Pastrami played against me. Good for him. Uh, I hope his opponent isn't asleep at the wheel. I had a shitty day that day and lost without really giving Pastrami a game, unfortunately. But hey, enough about me. Who gives a fuck? We're not here for that. Let's watch some fucking jams. So it looks like a super scenario heavy team on the Hellfire side, aside from the Malekith, obviously. Uh, and then we have Standard Dot, Red Skull 3 on the other side. So it looks like they've already cleared the priority role. I saw Malekith move first, though, so I think the Cabal, the Hellfire player, is moving first. Um, he's forced, yeah, Zemo and Red Skull are on this side to force Lizard to not hard dive this cube. Uh, so I think first activation is looking to likely be um, Toad going to grab this side cube, but we'll see. Um, Black Cat's going to be annoying. This is still going to be a fight because it's demons, uh, so we'll see how this ends up going. But if Hellfire can get to an extract lead, they can absolutely just hang out and chill if they don't just die. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, I'm going to get my Twitch chat set up, let everybody know that I'm streaming, blah, blah, blah. I've never actually had a Twitch chat active when I'm streaming, so this is going to be a first time for me. There's that, and then minimize, wait, is it actually working? Oh, right, I have a fat delay on my Twitch now, which is fine, who cares? So I'll check back in a minute to make sure it's actually working. Uh, we'll do this and that. Perfect, okay. Whoa, where'd you go? Hey, come back. Okay, power phase is done. I can just check on Twitch chat whenever I need to. Perfect. Oh, that's great. Okay, this is all going to work out. Okie dokie. What's happening? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, Baron Zemo moved, grabbed. He's going to move again to be within two of Thanos, it looks like. Maybe sit on that back demon. The range one can really mean either thing right now. It looks like he is sitting on that back demon. Yes, is sitting on the back demon. Very far away from everything. Zemo's relatively safe here. He can I'm a Baron next turn. Uh, to get poof poof. I love, uh, who's this other guy? Who's, who's Johnny playing into right now? I should really know this. Um, whoever Johnny's opponent is playing Hellfire as a choice is very funny. 
Uh, Lizard's gonna do the same thing, grab on this side. I really dislike this, I think you should go with Toad right now. Uh, Toad either grabs the far cube or the middle cube. Middle's super dangerous right now for everybody. But uh, I really like Toad grabbing the far cube and sitting far away from Thanos. Because yes, you can get like roped in and potentially one-shot by Thanos, but um, and Loki Bubble is stopping you from effectively uh, hopping away. But I still think it's worth it. But I also throw my Toad away all the time, so what do I know? And at that position, he could probably get double tapped by Thanos, which is uh, bad news. But now Loki just grabs this. Um, yeah. Uh, Lizard's sitting way the fuck back. Uh, he'll have the power to throw next turn, though. So this is this is fine, realistically. There's no point in having him sit on a point or anything. Um, the real question is, when are we going to see Hellfire leadership triggered? Because that's when Emma can start pushing into the middle. I think you probably don't... I, I think you may activate it a little early, but honestly, you don't have to. There's nothing on the board that's super impactful round one for either of these players, besides the Malekith charge, which is going to happen before Malekith goes. Mal or Emma is likely the last activation, but we're going to see... Uh, Cabal side playing super KG, I'm sure. Because why wouldn't they? Oh, you know what I always want to do? I, I don't know if I turn on heads up if it's going to freak out the players or confuse them, so I'm going to not do it. But yeah, we see... Uh, then after Red Skull are the last two to go. Loki's chilling behind this car for some cover. Yeah. I like this setup for... Um, for Hellfire, not gonna lie. The super aggressive Kaiju in Malekith, and then a bunch of extremely good objective runners at 19. Uh, Toad, Lizard, and Black Cat. Mm, probably, they're, they're among the best threes you could possibly have for objective-based characters in their threat bracket. Toad, for sure, is the best objective two. Uh, Black Cat, probably the best objective three. Um, and Lizard also, obviously, in that running, but Black Cat's like a, a bit above him, just because we're guaranteed bullshit. And her weird tankiness. He's also tanky, but who cares. Um, now, what do we likely see? So, Toad just went. I think it may be a pass from um, Cabal side. It is looking like Johnny is looking at a potential move Malekith off of his back point. So, Hellfire wouldn't give him the power to charge, which is really funny. Um, that might be... Like, you could space, walk... He's doing some of these range tool things that are whatever. He might space walk, grab the cube, teleport Malekith back, and then walk back, uh, which would be very funny to see. At which point, the best that Hellfire can do is um, tie on VPs, because it would be... Oh no, they could still get four, because two cubes, two points. Uh, oh no, but the, yeah, it'd be tie, because then um, they would have three cubes and one point on the Cabal side. And then you're pushing into Cabal, which always sucks because they just kill people really easily. It's uh, interesting that, like, since Malekith has been so heavily nerfed, we are actually seeing it be a, um, you know, go-go Malekith. Uh, Catfire OMG from Jomanji. Yeah, I know, right? I always thought Cat Dog was a bit of a meme, but, uh, I'll take some cat fire. That's spicy. This does seem like a like a a team that was created and crafted specifically for cuts. Oh, I should talk about TTC. I haven't done that yet. So we have got. Oh, I can't. Okay, I'm not. Fuck you. I'm not gonna click on stuff. Leave me alone. Um, Hellfire is playing Recal Survival Hellfire Club Mind Transfer Fallback. So basically, they're playing their two restricted cards in the leadership and fallback. Um, could be brace. I like brace a lot in this slot, but you know. Uh, fallback also an extremely good card, and you have to make that. It's a hard choice these days to make. I would probably say Brace is the best one to play, uh, especially in a, a such a collision-heavy meta right now. Uh, we'll talk about this in a second. So Thanos moves up. Looks like he's going to space down into that range 4 position to be able to teleport Malekith. I think he may have to walk and then teleport back, which is probably not what he wants to do, but it's looking like that's what he's going to do. Um, so yeah, we're not going to see a Mal Malekith's turn is now complete trash. Um... Possibly should have, uh, what's, what's my call it? Um, Hellfire the turn before. Yeah, you're taking that damage on Black Cat, but you're getting that, th the, um, the power for Malekith to be able to charge round one off. Malekith now, he's just going to double walk. This is, uh, another reason why range four Thanos portal is a, uh, fucking mistake. Because, look, look, AMG, you guys hate things being done in deployment? Well, uh, Big Boy just fucking walked into the middle of the board and 
placed a 7 threat model at his board edge. Not even his deployment before he activated turn 1. Love that for us. Uh, anyway. So, Thanos is relatively safe. He is going to be incinerated turn 2, but Cabal's always going to have Pryo here. So, yeah, he should be able to get himself out of dodge, shake incinerate, do some damage on the other side. And Malekith's odds um, of actually killing Thanos on a single activation are relatively low. Unless it's a Dark Rain turn, or unless his dice go crazy. So, uh, we're going to have to see how this one goes. I don't think he's in range to even range 4 attack Thanos. That's how bad displacements are on those big bodies. So, as cool as the big Malekith monstrosity is, and I do love seeing Catfire, don't get me wrong, I think the real key players in this matchup are going to be uh, Black Cat, or key player, excuse me. I think Black Cat's going to be very, very, very important in this game, uh, where she puts those staggers, because she's not grabbing any extracts right now. It's going to be pretty vital. Unfortunately, I really, now that I'm thinking back, I do think that not Hellfiring a turn earlier was wrong, because it would have given Emma the power to stop that. And Cat doesn't want to sit on a point either way, and she's not grabbing anything. So she's going to take that damage regardless, unless you go sit on a point and get incinerated. Uh, looking like an attack into Thanos is going to do zero. But it will get the displacement, which is quite nice. Um, doesn't look like Thanos can get over that car. But you can put him on a side of that car. Unless, uh, yeah, Red Skull can't evac him either because he got no power. So that's not going to let... Malekith come in and um, attack him with the big 7 die attack, but he will get a beam on him, which is nice. Get some power going. Maybe a poison on Thanos, who is the uh, ever-efficient power user. Sitting Thanos on that side, seems fine. You know, if there was ever a matchup where you're really glad to see cubes for the Cabal player... Or the the uh, Hellfire player. They are going to be rinsing that damage off super easy. Okay, so he passed. He's leaving Red Skull for last. So Red Skull could potentially port Thanos back. This is almost a trap, but you still have to take it. Because, you know, what are you going to do? Um... What's happening right now? Oh, okay. So it's three, no skulls into two. So again, no damage, but a poison, which is nice. This is, if you're not going to do damage, this is the best case scenario. This is actually great. Because now Thanos is just poisoned, so he's only going to get two, two power next turn. Uh, you get your power still, and Red Skull cannot teleport him back. This is actually fine. I think this is the best case scenario for Hellfire at this point. Um, I do, I think it is likely that you just have Black Cat go sit in the middle if Red Skull doesn't go there to tie the middle or score the middle. Because Red Skull low-key has to go to the middle now um, in order to like effectively do anything. He can't, like, and otherwise he's just sitting somewhere, which is fine. Don't sit on the point. Don't do it. Or do. What do I know? Yeah, we're double walking over to Loki's side. I guess because Loki will have three power for Red Skull to play with next turn. Um, and he's sitting on a car as well. That's not nothing. Hmm. I didn't quite finish my tactics card call-out. So, fallbacks for uh, Hellfire Club. Too restricted, gotta take them. Uh, Black Cat just moves to the middle now. Scores a point, which is nice. Uh, survival, another extremely good affiliated card, especially into Thanos Cabal. Unaffiliated card, uh, good generic card. Recal, the other good generic card. Mind Transfer is the Emma affiliated card. Or, the Emma card, the Ellen affiliated. It's a solid card. It's worth doing. Um, Hellfire's been running a lot of it. She's moving into range 3 of everybody, so she can stagger whoever she wants. Uh, Hellfire's going off now. Uh, Black Cat will be a bit of a threat of moving and Oh, she can't steal from Loki. He, he should have checked range uh, from Loki. Range 4. I think he's in range 4 right now. Uh, but who knows? If he doesn't see it, it's not my place to call it out. Uh, they're scoring. It's going to be 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Um, first activation, I think it is probably Thanos teleporting Malekith back to the board edge again and walking away. Uh, Thanos, oh yeah, this is cube damage going out. So Thanos will still have three power, because he's Thanos. 
Uh, maybe you try and kill Black Cat here, but more likely, I think you just walk her and Malekith away and then retreat. Maybe Shake Incinerate. Uh, like, walk Space Stone to your back point, and then Shake Incinerate. Go hang out with Zemo. Protect the bag, as it were. Um, but, uh, you know, Hellfire is, it can be a very grind affiliation, where if you're scoring evenly until the last round, uh, and they just steal all your shit and run away, like Web Warriors, it can be like, oh, I just lose. Like, we, we went even this whole time, and now I just lose. Uh, Hellfire, of course, has a shitload of power now on their side of the board. Malik is sitting at six. That's so sexy. Good for him. Uh, but let's see what happens. Uh, and then on the text cards for Cabal, we have I'm Baron, broken card, OP, please nerf. Uh, Cosmic Obliteration, broken card, OP, please nerf. I swear, Core 2, literally all it did was create a couple of niche characters and affiliations, like the Avengers affiliation. Uh, we get broken Ultron until they nerfed him because they realized, oh, we can't do that. We got broken new Red Skull card until they haven't realized it. Oh, broken, can't do that. We have broken Baron Zemo card until they realized, oh, it's broken, can't do that, which I haven't realized. Uh, and my point is, why why don't they do all that? Well, what's going on? Why did they let all those guys do all those things? Um, maybe cards should be tied to specific characters, you know, so maybe we don't get another Brothers in Arms situation. But no, sometimes it just has Steve Rogers. Uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, we got Baron, Cosmic Blit, Dark Rain, Giant's Blood, Brace for Impact. Giant's Blood is way better on Loki 1 than it is on Loki 2. Uh, Brace for Impact, obviously a very good card, although I don't really see a whole lot of collision damage going on in this game. Maybe Lizard throws somebody or something, or vice versa. Malakas Charge can still throw anyone on the board, which is cool. This board, I should sp specify. Giant's Blood, I'm going to save him from a Malakas Charge at some point. Maybe I'll drop an Extract, which is whatever. It looks like he's within three. Oh, that's so sad. So he's going to double port Malakas back, or port him out of range four. You could do that too. You know, whatever your heart desires, my friend. Oh, Thanos isn't on fire, by the way, because uh, he's not on the point anymore, so you don't got to do shit about that. Uh, ported him. Emma chose not to stop it. I don't know why. She should have shield-minded, question mark. Uh, now we're punching somebody. What's going on? Cabal's rolling first, as they should. Uh, two into three... No possible crits into two dice. This is him attacking Black Cat. Black Cat's going to take two and a throw. Don't think there's anything he can throw her into, though, which is nice. So he probably looks not to throw her. Oh, no, he can throw into that lamppost. Excuse me, I didn't quite see that. Did they forget clocks? Uh, uh, Johnny and I didn't play with clocks either. Who? I mean, honestly, who cares? Like, if they're moving at a decent clip, I'm not going to... Also, I can't say shit about it. Um, but I'm of the opinion that unless someone on the table really needs clocks, like, they should. If they don't have clocks on, they are annoying as fuck to play against. No, they don't need clocks. It's fine. Um, I am super confused about the lack of Emma Frost shield mind on Malekith. That is a... Uh, not great. Not great. I don't think so. Because now Malekith, again, is going to be, like, move charging. And for your 7th threat character to be getting... Uh, one real attack in at the bottom of two, you are in trouble, my friend. Uh, but we'll see how this goes. Anyway, he punched Cat. Cat took some damage. Cat can now definitely move Steel, teleport away. So, kind of have to deal with her. If you're going to deal with Cat, you have to deal with her entirely. You can't give her any power to play with. That's why Web Warriors are so, 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 so good, because they're so radically efficient with the way they use power. Uh, Thanos is space turning himself back. Like, I recognize that even if you um, stop the Mind Stone, or the, the teleport that he can Mind Stone Malekith back, but you need to force him to use all of his toys. Uh, punch in Black Cat again, I imagine. Uh, that's going to do it. Yeah, she's, she's dazed. She takes two. That was semi-risky, because uh, if he doesn't kill her, she can steal and run and hop away. But, um, you know, it's Thanos. Throw is before damage, so he's within well within his rights to throw her again. It will interfere with his power generation unless he throws her onto the point, so she'll just be incinerated at the top of the round. He can execute her. Uh, probably with Loki as the best person to do it. Um, but now Thanos is, you know, sitting in the middle of the table. Uh, looks like power's going through. Thanos is getting power. We're done now, right? You have... 80 million power on Thanos, which is super annoying because Red Skull can use it. This team is too synergistic. I hate Red Skull. Red Skull's stupid. Character's busted as hell. 
Um, so I think you probably... I don't know. He is... Cosmic Portaling? Okay, so he did Mind Stone... Malekith, I guess. This is what I'm talking about, though. Like, you have to... You had to shield mine there, so you're burning resources. You can't let Thanos just play his game. Yeah, because now it's like, oh, you have... Malekith is the only offensive piece on the table for Hellfire, and you have Toad and Lizard who are never going to hurt anyone on Red Skull's side. And Emma. Okay, so it looks like he's not portaling. Maybe he remembered he already did or something like that. No, he is portaling. He's portaling Loki up. Okay. Okay, so since Hellfire is never getting um, priority here, I think you actually have to go super deep with Malekith and try and kill one of these extract holders like Zemo or uh, Loki, is my thought process. Instead, Emma is walking forward and shooting uh, Thanos. I guess this is fine for right now. We'll see what happens. Uh, maybe this is the Hellfire turn, so he's just trying to like play it safe. Uh, walking, blasting. Very nice. So he's going to get a walk here. Uh, walk and one damage. That's like that's fine, because now he can Malekith charge into him, hopefully. Um, Red Skull will probably walk Port Thanos back now, though. Just set up that stupid little bunker. Sorry, someone said something about flipping the models. I'm not seeing it. Oh, can you flip view so models line up with overlay? Yeah, sure, man. I got you. Maybe we'll get the dice tray in there as well. Ooh, uh, no, it's that's a little funky. You guys can see the dice in the fucking stream review. Let's get the board in frame. Uh, see, now I'm all tripped up. But yeah, Red Skull walked. He's teleporting Thanos back. He's just deciding where the power comes from. It's definitely Thanos, man. You just pull probably three. Are you shooting Emma first to see if he can get a little discount on it? Uh, but it looks like he rolled. No, that's Thanos' defensive roll. He's still thinking about it. Yeah, where are my mods being? Like, hey, there's no clocks going on. This game is a... Uh... It's a kangaroo court. Okay, Thanos is paying... Oh, he's desecrating a shot in demo. Uh, and he already rolled his dice before the skull pops, so hopefully they catch that there. Um, This is looking like six. Maybe he just said he wasn't... I don't know. You have to wait there. Um, Six into two. Get a deal four. Ouchie, ouchie. And a shock. Oh, five? Okay, because he did count the skull. Okay. I think he didn't roll in all of his dice there. I hate this team so much. <laughs> Red Skull Cabal is a uh, criminal. Red Skull 3 in general is criminal. He's probably the best model in Core 2. Uh, Red Skull paid one for the crit. Gains five power there. And then he can finance the whole teleport himself now, but he doesn't need to. Yeah, I think two off of each is fine. Three uh, three and one is also fine. Um, he pays three and one. Yep, and teleports Thanos back, because Thanos is going to gain two next turn, be up to five. And he'll be in position to go beat up Black Cat. And now Thanos is out of danger. It's been said a million times. Uh, I heard it a couple times from some of the best players at WTC. Uh, and also me. Uh, Cabal's broken as hell. Cabal's the best team in the game. They have no weaknesses. Too good. Uh, I hate to say it, but you don't like it on Loki 2 and then the center fights? Mm, uh, okay, I'll be I'll be Chrono. I will be uh, more specific in what I'm saying. Um, it's fine on Loki 2, but it is backbreaking on Loki 1. Loki 1's whole kit is designed around never getting hit, and when he does get hit, he's tankier than he should be. And he's just really slippery, and also is making your life hell. Um, and then Giant's Blood gives him, like, that plus one, right? 
So, okay, so Toad is going to go steal the, the cube from Mr. Lizard and go hang out the back for the rest of the game. That's a great play. Um, yes, you're making him into a pinata, but he's also going to go chill on the edge of the map next turn, so it's fine. Um, Loki 2, his thing, Loki 1's thing is what I just said. He's running around being chill. Um, Loki's one, Loki 2's thing. Oh, hello. Hello, Usebio1210. How you doing, buddy? I don't know who that is, but I love you. Uh, Loki 2's thing is staying centrally and never moving and killing everything around him. When he needs to get in, uh, when he when he needs extra movement is not when he's running away. It's when he wants to kill things. Uh, I did switch the side. Maybe it hasn't caught up yet. But it'll happen. Um, what are they talking about? Yeah, so he wants to sit there and be central. When you need movement, just play Rainbow Bridge. Uh, Rainbow Bridge also happens to be better for the rest of your team, not just Loki. Uh, Loki won. Having Root and the slow aura, or the Root aura, is really, really, really good. Okay, so Zemo is moving up. He has two power. He could play uh, I'm Baron for extra stuff. Why is, why is what's happening? He's just charging? What's going on right now? Is he doing the steel rush into Emma? Probably. Yeah, steel rush into Emma, six dice. Uh, Emma is going to die here. Despite an excellent defensive role. This is what I'm saying. Like, you look at, besides maybe Loki 1, and Loki 1's an excellent model, these are just three top tier models. You have Thanos, who's been a problem since his inception. They've nerfed him several times and never really stuck. You have Red Skull 3, who's uh, disgusting, broken as fuck. Um, probably the, the new hotness in, in the world. And you have Zemo, who's been, you know, the best three in the game since Core 1. <laughs> like, what else do you need? Not a whole lot. And Loki 1 is just slows everyone else down. Also Cabal affiliated. Okay, so... He's got Loki left. Loki's turn this round is walk and attack, probably. So, I don't know what Malchus is being saved for super. I think you probably double move... Th oh, oh, you can throw Thanos into... Okay, what are you... What? Huh? Why? What does that accomplish, my friend? Walk, throw the car into nothing, walk back? You just waste... I don't get it. I'm not trying to be mean, I just don't understand. Why Why would this... Why'd you do that? What does this do for you? Did he forget that it's not a medium throw? Uh, maybe it's to make an open or spot for Malekith to sit? I... Uh, that was also a backstop because you don't have brace, man. I don't get it. Um, I'll ask about that later. Again, not trying to be rude or question the players, but I don't understand that one. Loki moving to the hood of a car. Is he even on that shit anymore, bro? What are we doing? I guess he... No, he's a little bit off. Uh, Malekith moved. So, Loki just moved. I guess shook incinerate. Yeah, he shook incinerate. Uh, Kitty Cat moving. He's within four, but that's fine. You just pay four. Go get his ass. If that's who you're even going after. Loki's probably the easiest one to kill. Uh, no, he's not. He has enough for Trickster. Please, for the love of God, do not go after Loki. I think you, you gotta try, try and kill Thanos. I know it sucks, but you gotta. Uh, yeah, go for Thanos, attack, and throw him into Red Skull if you get damage off, which you should. Yep, four power. And you can definitely get Thanos. Yeah, if you can throw Thanos into Zemo here, that's pretty solid for you. Alrighty. 
and I believe Kitty Cat is omnidirectional. Also, uh, I know this was a ways back, but people were saying Malchus is problematic. Malchus is fine, bro. Malchus is chilling as hell. Uh, looking like so he's gonna pop that crit for one. Malkith has six here. Thanos rolls a uh, crit. So three saves. He's gonna take three here. Uh, he has a reroll from Zemo. He's gonna take two here. I hate Thanos. Takes two. And then we have to throw Thanos into Mr. Zemo. Well, he's not gonna take anything from that, but uh, what's his butt will? And then Malkith gains some power. Malkith gains two. You know, uh, I never thought we'd see the day, but I am pulling so goddamn hard for the kitty cat. Go get him, Malekith. Be the hero we deserve. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Mal is fine, dude. Like, the character got nerfed into the fucking ground. He's still, like, good. He's still the absolute murderer of three threats, but there are way more busted things running around. And also, Malekith's model is sick as hell. I love seeing that shit on the table. Alrighty, throwing Thanos into uh, Zemo. Oh, seems locked nothing and fucking dies. Let's go. Malika saved the day. Uh, that also means that, it, you know, Super Death Decree is coming. We might see... I don't think it's super likely... Yeah, yeah you definitely grab that cube. I don't think it's super likely that... Mal uh, dies to a Zemo full round activation, especially because you have a recal and fallback. Um, but we could see Zemo go hard in the motherfucking paint and swing with a nine die reroll all into uh, Kitty Cat next round. Yeah, popping, popping the juice right there. Um, so this is kind of cool. This is like one of the ways that I have found you can kind of deal with the Thanos heavy teams is you have your Kaiju dive super hard and cause problems while the rest of your team just scores points. And that is currently what's happening. Uh, it is once again... Uh, okay, no. So Hellfire is going to go up this round. They're going to be 4 to 3 So Hellfire is up 1 VP right now. Uh, if they can keep playing this game, they're going to be happy campers. Let's see how it goes. Although, we do already have a couple of dazes on this side. But Black Cat is now in a position where she's actually relatively safe and she will be able to stagger two people. Uh, you kind of can't... If you go with anyone... You could go with Thanos, potentially. You could get Mal out of your hair. But Emma can double stop. You have to go with someone who kills someone. This is actually kind of a dangerous position. Uh, and I'm excited to see what turn one looks like. All right, cards got flipped. I believe that was Hellfire Club, because this is a new round. Uh, 1 VP lead for the Hellfire side. Let's see what Johnny decides to do here. Incinerates have not gone out yet, but I think they all know who's incinerated. It's it's Zemo, Cat. It's all the three threats, and also Emma again. Uh, people are on fire. Cat is playing survival. Let's go. Great use of survival. We're getting those staggers off, motherfucker. It's happening. Uh, she's still on fire, though. Everyone's on fire. Uh, Red Skull, Zemo, Cat, Emma, and Lizard are all on fire. That was a phenomenal survival. Uh, and Malekith, obviously, is already on fire.
I have, I've been liking what I've been seeing, because a lot of the teams that run Demon these days are just kill teams, and not a lot of kill characters are incinerate immune. So I feel like we've gotten back to Demons being what it's supposed to be, where everyone's on fire and everyone's miserable. Uh, which is good, because I don't like Demons, and I don't like playing it. But it's good for me, I guess? I don't know. Let's see what happens now, boys. Uh, Johnny's checking his cards. The only card I could see you possibly playing is Dark Rain or Baron, but you have plenty of power on Zemo right now to do w literally anything on his card. And I'd be wary of Dark Raining right now, because if you Dark Rain uh, the big cat, um, obviously he has recal, so one of your reroll all twice attacks will be burned on recal. Like, this is actually, like, this is a sick position. This is not bad. I'm, n I'm not hyping him up because the commentator's curse. Uh, I just, I want to see the cat do well. So Zemo could just deep dive, go past everyone and go kill someone. That'd be kind of cool. Like, he could, like, double walk and go into Emma. I don't think you're in range for a move once steel rush. Because I don't think you can get over Kitty Cat. Um, oh, he's just going. Okay, he's moving out of range four. Question mark, question mark. Is that the intention? He's still in. I think this might be technically illegal, but I don't know. Like, measuring with the base there. Uh, but he can... I don't know. That's like a TTS measuring thing. You can do this. This is fine. It's like you, you'd be holding the range 4 in the real life. Uh, so he's swinging on Malekith. He charged. He is Master Swordsmaning. Uh, and he is Death Decreeing. Yep. So 9 dice into Malekith. Let's see how it goes. That's pretty good. Uh, seven off rip. Malakas rolls a crit. This is gonna be a recal, I'm pretty sure. After he does all his rerolls. Uh, so right now, Malakas blocking two. Uh, he's rolled in his two crits, I think. Now he's rerolling all. So this is nine. Uh, he'd be doing eight here. Which is pretty bad. I think you recal this for sure. Now there's a skull in the mix. Come on, buddy. You got it. You have no skills. So it's four against uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Um, he's rerolling again. Yeah, so he is, now there's two skulls in the mix. This is nine into four dice. Uh, on average, you should not die. You should recal this, in my opinion. Or you can fall back out of range, which is also fine. Fall back out of range is kind of sick, actually, because then you have a trillion power to go in with. And he has he has no recourse if you're out of range. Fallback fall back may be the better play. I'm pretty quick on the recal button, but I'm stupid. Yep, we're falling back. I'm also a keep my characters alive play. Okay, so Zemo gets a ton of power, but now he doesn't he can't hit anyone in range. And he's already charged. This is kind of a bad look for Mr. Zemo. Um the real question is what does Kitty Cat do? Because if Kitty Cat doesn't go right now, or after Zemo's turn, excuse me, uh his his round is over. I think you likely go kill Thanos. Because there's nothing to stop you from doing so. And then you just accept that you're gonna die, which is fine. But this is what you gotta do. You gotta run Mali as a distraction monster. You gotta get in there and buck shit up. Alright, they're taking their time, so I'm gonna look at chat. Um, they are not going to rework Malekith again, I don't think so. The only character that's ever been reworked tw twice. If they, There may be one other character, but I think it's just Thanos. And uh, Thanos is an asshole. Okay, so Bleed gets put on Malekith. It doesn't matter because Hellfire will keep him uh, up. So you can, he'll be at one health or two health. doesn't matter. Either way, he's going to die to the next attack, most likely. Um, Malekith is worse than Thor 2 now and costs a threat more. That's probably true. Um, Malekith... Um, what are the words? He is tankier because of his... Uh, they have the same health pool. Maybe I think Thor has one more health on his backside, so he's he's 9-8 instead of 9-7. Um, but Thor, or Malekith has uh, all of his immunities, and he can explode crits on defense and dodge. 
Uh, I still think Malekith is like solid as hell, and he's Cabal affiliated, so you can't go wrong when you're Cabal affiliated. Yeah, I think you just go for Thanos here. If you can take Thanos off the table, it's such a good look. Uh, you could potentially also uh, throw Thanos into Zemo again, get some cheap damage. But you you gotta put everything into Thanos. If you can get Thanos dazed right now, um, yeah, that's that's a great look. Paying only three. Oh, paying four? No, I think you only pay three, buddy. Check the range four. Hell yeah, paying three. Let's go. You're gonna get in range after this, but you're only gonna you're just spending it for for you know coins for uh, skull crits. And if you get a lot of those, you're a happy camper either way. Moving the full range because why not? Uh, you're gonna be in range of everybody regardless. So swing. I, I would maybe keep him outside of range two for Zemo for round for the next round, but we'll see if it matters. Uh, all right, let's get in there. Oh yeah! Oh, I put it in my veins. He doesn't have Phasmagoria, does he? Phasmagoria here would be sick as hell. Get three health, push everyone away. And then Hellfire for another one. Uh, paying two for the Skull Crit. So rolling in two crits here. Looking like three, four, five, six, seven. Into two. Uh, so into three, taking four. That's going to daze Thanos regardless. So the throw will not happen, which is whatever. Uh, now it's good that he didn't get out of range two of Zemo. Because now he can try and kill Zemo. Uh, puts Thanos in the fucking dirt. I think you drop that rock. I don't know if you put it next to Malika. I think you put it next to, to Kitty Cat so she can grab and run away. Because if you pick it up on Malika, he's going to die either way here. Like, you don't want to give two rocks out super easy. Um, but will he see that? Unknown. Put it, put it next to the cat. The other cat. The tiny cat. Or he's going to grab and walk to your... That's why. What's the point of that? Oh, you know what else is annoying? Kothic Obliteration is going to be able to pull a stagger off of uh, Red Skull. Which is quite dumb. So the staggers from Cat probably go onto Zemo, which is beautiful, and onto Loki, which is also, you know, cool. Because you can't do it to Thanos, who's obviously dazed. Um, yeah, Shreds, that guy, you just maybe, maybe, I think you still put it next to Cat, but I think you also kill Zemo here. Because Malika's in a great position for next round when he wakes up. Like, you're not going to have Pryo, and you have to eat the next attack. You still have Recal, though, so that's something. God, I love the daze mechanic in this game. Poor Hulk. I think you put the rock. Yeah. Oh, okay. so you can go to either of them. Um, you could go full tilt and waste everybody. Try and go into Red Skull. But Zemo off the table is so good. So good. I'm still confused about that lizard activation last round when he threw the car. I'll ask about that later, though. Okay, yeah, he thought about it. He's putting the rock up there. I like that a lot. Damn, they're taking their goddamn time with this shit. Uh, are we Butcher of Thorzing? It's range three, so he's, he can just put ten dice into Loki right now. No, he is... What's going on? Zemo paid two. Malekith paid three. Okay, so he butchered Thor's into Zemo, it looks like. I don't know what's going on. He's paying all of his power. Yeah, again, if you can erase Zemo here, that's great. That's great, right? Like, he's dead. Love that. Uh, three, four, five, six. I think... Um, Zemo's re-rolling one. Zemo's gonna live, but there's a throw component to this, I believe. No, no, that's that's big Thor. Uh, you get bleed, hex, shock, slow, or stun. Probably just bleed him. Or, actually, no, you shock him. Uh, crazy that Zemo blocked two on two dice, but he is Baron Zemo, the Earth's mightiest dipshit, so whatever. 
Uh, don't put him on the point, because you'll be incinerated next turn, or do... What do I know? You're not going to score that shit either way, pal. Um, but, you know, I'm, ha I'm happy for you. You're playing the kitty cat. Okay, so yeah, he took four, he put bleed on him. So, okay, he, get, he gets to either go hard or die. That's reasonable. I still would have liked shock, I think, because then he is just doing nothing with his attacks. Well, eight dice reroll all is not nothing. Um, it's also still a world where uh, you can kill Zemo. What just happened? Huh? Why did Malekith daze? Doesn't Hellfire go first? Isn't it like healing factor? Uh oh. Uh, so right now Johnny's lining up. I thought healing factor went first, so I thought Mal would still be up right now. That's interesting. I guess it's at the end of their activation, so their activation would happen first, technically. That's weird. Whatever. Um, so, he's looking at a way that he's... So, Johnny's looking at a place where he can place range 3 and then throw a car at a kitty cat. Um, even with an all-in, it is not 100%. With a size 3 throw and 2 attacks, it is un... Not guaranteed, is the word I'll use. That a uh, cat goes down here. Because she's kitty cat. And if that does not happen, it's real bad. Okay, so he took power off of Zemo for that. Teleport's right there. Now I'll take power off of Loki for the attack. And he can do all that because range 3 is not a movement tool, so he can check the throw. So 1, 2, and 3 from Loki. Throws the size 3 at Cat. Uh, we got a great fallback this turn, so I'm not going to say, oh, you should play Brace. You got a great fallback this turn. Oh my god, Cat the hero blocks it all. What a champion. Now, it's really not guaranteed that anything happens right now. Uh, Skull is kind of in an awkward position even with two attacks right now. Because he can double tap, but like, she has full health. But he's going for it because he's got to. Uh, probably takes that crit. Again, this Hellfire player is unfortunately doing his dice rolling before... Uh, Red Skull decides, I think. I'm not sure, maybe they're doing it really fast. Uh, Cat takes three there. So one more attack. To do two damage. If not, Cat uh, grappling hooks, grabs the cube and runs to a corner. 100%. Uh, that should do it. Yeah, two damage. Unfortunate. Wait. Thinking about recalling? No, he's not. Okay. Cat's dead. Oh, well, she had a... Uh, this is how uh, my buddy Craig used to play against Thanos. Back when Thanos could still do literally everything. You have to give up something. And if it's your three threat, that's oftentimes not the worst thing in the world. Uh, at least she took both attacks. Um, so, yeah. That's that's Skull. Two five die attacks killing Black Cat is really unfortunate. I guess she was on fire, but even so. some uh, Some hot dice coming through. So now it's, I think, so you probably have Emma go kill Mr. Zemo. Just get him off the table. Yep, that's what's happening. Hooray. I don't know if you do this right now, because he can't stop you. Like, you don't really want to put Emma in danger. I think you burn out your safe activations first, my dude. But, uh, again, I, I do not mean to sound condescending. These guys are all great players. They're doing their thing. Uh, Emma does walk up and spend her Zemo to kill him. But I think before you do that, you get everything else out of the way. So, like, you do your, you run away with Toad. Lizard probably hangs out where he is, and then when you have last activation is when you do this. And it looks like we're figuring that out. He was just measuring. Because, yeah, there's no way he can stop you with a single body. You got this. 
I think Thanos is waking up on fire too, which friggin' rules. We have to see if Malekith can live through the next activation. He's mind transferring. What does that do? He's deactivating Zemo and activating Loki, and then he's gonna spend her Loki. Oh my god! I did not know that's so fucking cool. Okay, uh, that's the biggest gotcha of all time, baby. That's so sick. Who are we spending? We're spending Loki or uh, Zemo, right? It's gotta be. Okay, that was so sick. That's the best mind. Yeah, he's spending Zemo. That is the best use of mind transfer I think I've ever seen. That was so freaking hot. Love that for you. Uh, got the throw, so he's guaranteed dead. Yeah, you can look all you want, pal. He's dead. Bye bye. No, dude, you throw him into the car. It's easy peasy done. You know it. Stop. You know you can keep doing this, but we both we all know what's happening. Yeah, get out of here. <laughs> Dude, that was the that was such a sick mind transfer. Oh my god, Emma the Queen, good for her. All right. I don't think Z Lizard can get all the way to that other side for the scroll, though. Unfortunately. Um. So you could go uh, go into the mid middle is whatever too. I think you just position Lizard for the next round. Or you could go into Loki too. Throw a little three dice into him. Go bleh. Uh, Joe Manji, whatever. Let's go. Was I agree? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. What's happening? Lizard walked up. He's gonna tongue lash into Liz uh, Loki in thirty-seven years. He's thinking about uh, trickstering. Okay. I mean, I don't know. It's four dice. You got cover. I don't think it really matters. He's trickstering. Okay, sure. I guess don't take risks. Oh, he's trickstering into range of Emma? If you get pushed, this is all for naught. Yeah. I don't know how worth this is, man. Like, I guess Loki can then, like, single walk onto the back, but he's gonna be able to walk there either way. Maybe you just trickster and then go get the cube and chill on your back point. What is this... What are you doing? What? What? I'll never understand what any of this like side angle thingy stuff is. I, I refuse to learn. It's not ignorance. It's just it feels weird to me. Like they either allow pre measuring or they don't. You know, there's no half measures. Anyway, that's my political stance today. My only political stance today. Uh, so wiggles into that little spot. No, he doesn't. He's clearly cocked as hell. I don't think you're fitting there, dude, with Malekith. Like intersecting Malakus base. Yeah, you're not fitting there. And this is again another form of pre measuring that I do not appreciate. Uh, no shade, because I'm not an accuser. Maybe I'm wrong, but yeah. 
I don't think you're supposed to do that. Measuring with your base and then moving out of it once you realize you're not in range. I have been called out for it before. Uh, normally in casual games I don't give a shit, but this is the highest level of tabletop simulations. Uh, Liz is going to move again, go chill off the point somewhere. I don't know if you really want to go there, because right now Malika's only target to get thrown into is uh, our good girl Emma, but uh, Thanos double tap into two throws. Maybe he can't throw Lizard into that angle? Yeah, he shouldn't be able to. Okay, then you're fine. Oh, I guess you can always, you know, mind set him back, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, looks like they're scoring now. Uh, 12 to 9. Hellfire on match point if they can live through this round. Zemo's off the table. Uh, so the biggest blast they actually have is uh, Loki. Loki with a 7 die Death Decree attack into somebody. Um, so Malekith is actually not unlikely to live through this first activation unless somebody's dice go crazy. Let's see what happens. I'm typing in chat instead of talking. Um, uh, yeah. Um, uh, you can't brace on Emma's turn. You attack Zemo there because it's not guaranteed that you actually kill anything. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we're back in the business. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, everyone's on fire. Toad's in the back point with two cubes and he's on fire, but you can't afford to go after him right now. Too much stuff going on. Something about a range long and threes. He's checking if he can get over to that size three to throw it. I think you probably just throw the size two and call it good. Um, if you don't kill Malekith here, Malekith has a decent chance of murdering anyone on the board. Uh, you probably dump everything you possibly can into... You only have three power, so it's not a lot, unfortunately. Oh, he's also on fire. And he has seven health. Maybe you do just go into Mal. Um, I don't think Loki is likely to kill him. Uh, Thanos being injured, but no one else being, it means Death's Decree is not the best it could be. You do have Death's Decree, though. Uh, what is it called? Dark Rain. So you get like a seven die. Count blanks, reroll all skull crit. Off a of Loki into a five die. Real or all skull crit. Recal isn't great into uh, skulls. Looks like we are playing Dark Rain onto Malekith. Yep. If Malekith dies here, it's really bad because then it's just Emma, Toad, and Lizard uh, against, you know, the Cabal guys, <laughs> which is not great. Um, but we are, you know, we're points up. Uh, Toad can run into a corner. Lizard can grab something and try and hang on. Uh, Liz Toad cannot run into a corner, actually. It's uh, too early in the game for that. He probably needs to get out of dodge at some point. But we are seeing Loki get Death's Decreed and attack Malekith. As I suspected. Uh, Loki's rolls, not so great. Malekith also rolls, not so great. But this is not a recal, I don't think. Because right now it's going to be uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 into uh, 2 before crits. Uh, you gotta pay for it, man. You gotta... Uh, please? Yeah. Oh, this is before rerolls. No, it's, it, you can't reroll anything out of this. So, yeah, he's gonna block three. He's only taking three. That's great. Off the Death Decree attack. That's really good. Take your lumps. It's fine. You can't recall it. I don't know what we're waiting on. We were just discussing the damage numbers. And total, yeah, three is what happens. Uh, and then we're probably going to see a spender out of Loki. For that extra die. Uh, Loki pays one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, he paid one for the leadership. So yeah, we're spendering with the count blanks. I think this is only six dice, if I remember correctly. Yeah. 
Uh, no skull crit this time around. What are we waiting on, Sandwich Man? Uh, five into one. Currently, Malekith is dying. But just barely. Probably recal. I think you lose a lot more easily if Malekith isn't alive at the end of all this. Yep. You just need it to be slightly worse. And then you're alive on one. You have a ton of power to go kill somebody with. What? Oh, okay. Or that. Why? I will also ask about that. Uh, uh, you took him off the table, dude. Okay. Oh, he rolled his dice. I'm lagging. That's why. He rolled a billion on the recal. Okay. Yeah, so he re-rolled into more successes. So it was an unsuccessful recal. That was weird. I saw, like, different pieces of it happening. Okay, so now I think you uh, walk, grab the doohickey, and walk away with Lizard. All right, I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, you need one power to be able to walk, grab the doohickey, and throw Thanos. Um, but Thanos right now is the only person who can get the Toad. I guess Red Skull can. He can teleport, walk, and attack Toad, probably. Might be able to do it in a single thing. Oh, but yeah. That Malekith dying really hurts. This is looking very uphill now. I wasn't paying attention. Something's happening, range two. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Into one, two, three, four. So this was Emma into Loki. Uh, she's dealing one and walking him. Onto the fiery point, yes, and then kill him. Doing it again. Uh, unless the crit rolls in, he is dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay. Loki dazes, drops his cube, Emma grabs it. She will most likely, the first time she is targeted, transform because she can survive this round if the game is over in favor of Hellfire. They just need to score out here. Uh, she triggers Hellfire. Okay, so she's gonna... No, you don't do that here. Yeah, because Lizard's... No, Lizard's on the point. Lizard's on the point, right? Lizard's not on the point. Okay. So